one night when I was getting ready for bed, my parents were talking very quietly behind closed doors. Feeling left out, I could only assume that their conversations were about me. I had a feeling that they were discussing something terrible, such as quitting my violin lessons or even taking my violin, my music away. I had no idea what was going on, so I felt untrusted, abandoned, and mostly given up on. When my mom first walked into my room, I could tell right away that something was wrong. She sat at the edge of my bed, took a deep breath, and told me that my father had been diagnosed with tonsil cancer. I was shocked and terrified at first. The first question that came to mind was, will my dad die? My father is Keisuke Wakao, assistant principal oboist of the Boston Symphony Orchestra and principal oboist of the Boston Pops. I was so worried that he wouldn't be able to play the oboe again. I was upset that I was just finding out. I knew my parents were trying to protect me, but I felt better to know the truth right away. In fact, once I heard that my father had been diagnosed with tonsil cancer, all I wanted to know was how could I help? A way of supporting my dad may be different than what you might think. I acted as normal as possible. You may be wondering, how does I support someone? Well, people who knew about my dad's sickness often asked questions such as, how painful was the procedure? I could see a slight change to my father's expression when people asked him these questions, bringing him back into scary memories and fears. I promised myself never to ask him about these sick his sickness. Instead, I would talk about other things until he got better. I remember that my father said that he loved music. He said that he loved to listen to my violin. So I practiced and played my violin for him. As music sank into his ears, I could see how he smiled more and looked more comfortable with every note. He said that he felt as if music was a small cure. My father was treated at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston. I was really nervous to go there for the first time. I didn't want to see my dad sick in a hospital bed attached to many wires. When I stepped into my dad's small room in the hospital, I felt more comfortable than I expected. The way my dad's team of doctors, nurses, and even social workers treated him well made me more confident of my father's recovery. Even so, his cancer was very rare and difficult to treat. Some days, he looked much sicker than others. I didn't want to worry him, so I held a great amount of fear and emotions inside. But I found a way to release these emotions through my music. This experience, my emotions, and even confusion allowed me to tell a much more powerful story with my music more than I could ever before. Life is full of stories. This one is mine, and I'm lucky that has a happy ending. My father is now 100% cancer free. In fact, a month ago, I performed a small duet with my dad. I finally saw him by my side and had the opportunity to share and combine my music with his. I feel like I have him all perfectly back into place. I found my own way of supporting my dad, which was to act as normal as possible and to share my creation of music with him. I want to inspire people even younger than me to find their own talent to make a great impact in people's lives. Next, I'm going to play a short inversion of Zigorna Weissen by Sarasate. I chose this piece because it reflects on my emotions I went through this whole entire experience. It first starts off with a slow kind of melody that soon rises up to a more exciting tone, which reflects on my emotions right now. I hope you find this piece as meaningful as much as I do. Thank you.